everybody welcome back to my channel it's a quick five minute Sunday takeaway and I thought I might try and zhuzh up this really faded beautiful cottage picture if I can with some oils um, rather than watercolor I just wanted the those beautiful garden flowers to pop and I've I've been meaning to do it for a while and I thought you know what I'm going to turn the camera on and I'm going to bring you along with me so I hope you've had a lovely weekend just I can't believe how the weeks are just flying by really I can't now I'm used to I'm used to painting in um, in watercolor I've never really done anything in oils but I had this I just opened this little box and I thought um, I mean goodness knows how it will turn out but you've got to be brave haven't you I think I just thought if I can make these flowers pop that'll be something I was so tempted to um start on these I don't know I think they might be um, oh, what are the names I keep wanting to say hollyhocks um, oh can't think of their name I love hollyhocks too but they're really really tall Even though it's even though it's sort of like I don't know dappled, I'm going to put some light green, some different shades in, a bit of yellow. It might turn out <laughs> with my cataracts. It might turn out not like a bad a bad um, bad rendition of Monet's lake. I love Monet's work, but yeah, he had cataracts to me. But anyway, I'm going to do my best. I'm having fun anyway. That's what counts. I thought if I got the most of the green in. Um, it's like painting by numbers. <laughs> It's probably like everything else that you do, isn't it? You just practice makes perfect. It's such a pretty cottage garden border, I love it. brown some light green that looks like darker green there spilling out onto the path I live in a hundred year old cottage and I don't have a cottage garden um, but what is here is lovely I've got a beautiful big kangaroo paw and for those of you who aren't in Australia that's I think it's the national floral emblem of uh, Western Australia I think it's a magnificent plant I've never really grown one before and it is every every at the end of every um, summer I cut it back and it is quite huge now I think it would have to be maybe this um, stems that have been about maybe about a four foot I've not cut it or anything it's just in the garden underneath the frangipani tree and I think it really loves being cut back it's thriving anyway right oh missed some okay that looks kind of cool now, I don't even know whether the wash-up is in water or not. I wonder 
if I can get some water. Okay, back with the paler green. That's the finest brush I have. Let's see, I'll just go in amongst. might be one of those um, paintings that you have to squint and stand 300 mile back from <laughs> but it might, I hope it, I'm hoping it'll look really pretty Might be. I, I didn't want this to be any longer for you than five minutes or so. Probably been that already. Oops. Last Sunday it was um, just stitching on fabric and I think it was three minutes. And it was terrible. I've really beat myself up over the videos because it's just, you know, pathetic really. I surely, after these years of doing this I should have taught myself a bit better but I haven't so I, I, I looked at on different people doing um, tutorials on, on videoing and stuff and their main thing was like look you can't be perfect just start just turn on the camera and start and so that's what I do now I just turn on the camera and and start and then upload it because I don't know how to edit dear oh dear pathetic isn't it we well, usually that used to always just be flip through flip, <laughs> flip throughs but now I'm starting to get a little bit more I'd like to you know just to talk while I'm working and Probably the most boring, but you've stuck with me, so thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Oh, oh that's it. even that now. That, isn't that looking incredible? Maybe I might go and do an oil an oil class. I've got a couple of my watercolors up on the studio wall. And like they've been languishing around, just lying around. And I put them up the other day, and my husband came and he went, "That's your, that's yours. It's on the wall." And I like, he's like, "Geez, I tell you what," he said, "I'm so glad you put it up." Oh, that's nice, sweet. So what's the point? I'd rather get the joy of looking at it on the wall than. I think that's supposed to be a bit of shadow there or a bit of dirt along the pathway there. It's just to trick the eye, isn't it, getting it back deep in those garden beds. Okay, where else do I need to put greenery? Okay. Can't wait to get into the pretty purples and pinks. <laughs> This is so cool. I want to do some slow stitch embroidery too soon. I, now if I'm very careful, this is the finest tip brush I own, so. Oops. Oops, it easy. I 
think there's some tree trunks in behind there too. Oh, lordy. Um, yeah, so they were really purple. There might be some over here. That's better. I think, I think they need to be connected rather than just... That's better. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I'm loving that. I'll have to do the outline of the roof as well. It certainly brought the garden forward. There's a bit of uh, pink in there as well. Oh, so pretty. Oh, that's so lovely. That is so delicious. I can leave the white because that white, those little white flowers just there, they look pretty cool, don't they? Now, do we have pink or have I got to mix some pink? What colour is this? Doesn't say. These are real cheapies from the. Oh, okay. Might get a something something to mix it on. Got, got this lovely embossed paper here. I'll just put a little bit on that and see how we go. Yeah, that's too red. A little bit of white maybe. Oops. Oh, right. Okay. Mix a little bit of pink. There we go. That's a pretty pink. There's some pink. Whoops. Oh dear. Some of them, <laughs> yeah, they look like pink shrubs, but hey. Oh, isn't that pretty? Isn't that so pretty? This is great. Okay, well, I might leave the white out. Any more pink? Must be like a little something up there that's a bit pink. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay. Now, I wonder if I should use some pencils. So just some colouring pencils to do the shading on the path. That might be clever, mightn't it? Let's use a little bit of white. Pure white. Use some white. Oh, how did I pick up some color there? No, 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 no. Oh, lordy. 
I wonder if I can... nice okay I'm liking that now what about the windows hmm I wonder I've got a pen here I wonder if I could just very palely do the panes. Oh, that's good, isn't it? That didn't take very much. Maybe I could outline. That kind of makes the frames pop on their own, I think. It needs a little bit there. Paley along there. Just a touch. We do want the I want the garden to stand out after all. Maybe just a little bit of shadow along the chimney. Yep, that's good. Just a tiny touch. Do you think that looks so that looks so cool doesn't it so when that's dry that will look amazing and I could either use a pencil maybe oh, a bit of pastel maybe yeah the well let's put pen ink um, pastel acrylic and watercolor all together in the one picture <laughs> okay everybody that's my five minute takeaway today and um, yeah I might find some more pretty gardens to paint because that was a lot of fun. Alright thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. See ya.